This week's webinar is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com, providing high-quality stock music for all of your video and film projects. I want to start with Luca Visual Effects, a program, a plug-in called Spectrum. You can get more information at their website at lucavisualeffects.com. The plug-in is available at their website or at fxfactory.com. It supports Final Cut 10, Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. It's $79, but, and this is important, a free trial is available. So if you want to give it a try for yourself, please do so. What Spectrum is is a light effects generator. It includes transitions and it requires FX Factory, which is free. You download the, the host application and then you just simply have to buy the plugin. Let me show you Spectrum. This is Spectrum. And let's just play it for a second. Now, isn't that cool? Is there anything inside Final Cut that can do that? The answer is not even close. In fact, what we can do is not only can we create this as a standalone, and now let's use this as a background and put an infographic on top of it. I've animated this, by the way, with a keyframe that has it shining up left at the start and shining up, uh, sorry, up right at the start and up left at the end. So this animation was added with just a simple keyframe to the effect. But let's say that we want to take some normal piece of video like this and let's add some life to it. This is also spectrum. Well, the cool thing is, is that if we select this and go to the inspector, we have a variety of presets that we can work with. For instance, here, we could have spiraling light and colors. We could have uh, electric, which gives us an entirely different look. We can add um, a floating light. You have control over the size of the object. You have control over the angle where it's located. You can even add effects like zoom blurs or kaleidofractals or liquids. Let's just take a look at kaleidofractals. Same plugin, but multiple ways that we can change the look. There are lots of different controls that we have over glows and glow intensity and blur and, and saturation, exposure, all that allow us to take a default setting and tweak it to be the way that we want. And what I've done here in this one is I simply applied this as a blend mode. So once I made this floating light look the way that I want, I then selected the clip, went up to the video tab, goes down to blend mode, and instead of having it superimpose, which would have this be left to normal. All right, not bad. I switched it to screen, and notice how I'm able to share textures of the, the light leak on top with the background, and now we're starting to get some interesting prismatic and solar effects as though the sun was right behind the icebergs that we're shooting. Look at that. Is that not cool? That's just really, really neat stuff. Could I create that in Final Cut? Nah. Do I want to even try to create it in Final Cut? Why? When you've got access to some really nice effects inexpensively from really talented visual effects artists like Luca FX. The plugin is called Spectrum, and it's published by Luca Visual Effects. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 165. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.